So as you can see, I've got a, a Sega Mega Drive set up here and it's running Sonic on the television, but I've got no controllers. So with that in mind, I picked up three Mega Drive controllers for 999 plus postage, which came to 15 pounds and 19 pence. So hopefully in this package, there's three controllers. So we'll get this open. I thought they would be worth five pound each. I'm going to go through them one at a time and see if they're working. So, controller one, black tape, which is awful because it's going to leave a sticky residue. So, we'll turn this off, plug this in. Power back on. Now, there's no lights on these controllers and I'm looking out through this little window in the corner. So, we'll press start. Start's worked. So we've got left and right, down and up. Now A does something, B, yeah, and C. That's excellent. So that one is working, just needs a clean. One down, two to go. Right, two's got more tape and the, the strain relief is a bit damaged, but hopefully it'll still work. I'm going to take this tape off. Right, number two. Two's got the, the red accents on the, the buttons there. What model is it? Let's have a look. This says model 1650. What was the first one? The first one says 1650-50. So let's try this one. I'm hoping for a fault, otherwise it's a boring video. Right, start. Start. Start's worked. Oh no. Right, I've got no left. That's left. Left's not working. Right's working, but left's not working. Up works. Down works. A, B and C work, but the left does not. Well, that's exciting, isn't it? Right, switch this off. It's noticeable. There's a bit of a rattle. First one doesn't rattle as much, but this one does. That's the one with the left, faulty left D-pad. So. So the third one, why are they all different? This has got red accents on the buttons but not red accents, accents, accents on the, the D-pad. This also feels a bit rattly. More horrible tape. Right, well, oh, hang on. There's definitely something rattling around in this one. This is number three. Okay, start. Start works. We'll change it up a bit. A. A is half working. B's not working, and C's not working. Sonic's looking, I was a bit confused. Oddly enough, the D-pad works, but it's really, really mushy. I mean, th these are mushy to start off with, but there's definitely something broken there, I would think. So that's three. Three's got some, some issues rattling around like crackers okay right get rid of that so we'll start off with number two and the screws are very rusty i hope i can get them out Ugh. what's that pluff i might put these screws in some vinegar Oh no, last one's not coming out. You're joking. Screwdriver's a good fit. That's not coming. I'm going to try a small flathead. 
Nope. I don't think that's coming out. Oh, it's not moving. It's going to round off. Try a slightly smaller one. Stuck at the first hurdle. Can it even get it open? What am I going to do? Let's try a different screwdriver. Miles too big. I'm going to try a bit of tape. I haven't got a rubber band, so I'm going to try a bit of tape. No, that's not working. It's totally rounded off. Let's have a think. I've got some very small drill bits somewhere. I've had them a while, but I've never used them. So I've got no idea where they might be. Here they are. Parkside. Little's specials. They might be actually too small. Some of them look like dentist drills. I've got a I've got a Dremel. I'll see if I've got any drill bits to go with me Dremel. I don't know if there's a drill in here. I don't recall seeing any. I wonder if I can put one of them. Parkside drill bits in there will fit in there and it does but will it stay? How do I keep that in the Dremel? I'm not sure. Right, there's my Dremel. Hold on, does that come off? Can I not come out? I think so. Actually it might go in there. Why have I got two two different ones? You can tell I never use it. I think I might be in luck because I think that's it. Right, I'm going to put some eye protection on, plug the Dremel in. So the Dremel's going to be loud. I might mute it so I don't deafen yours. This drill looks too small. Oh, look at all that. So it's working. Right, that's better. I don't know what's happened, but it's just, I've just pulled it open and I haven't actually. Oh yeah, bugger, that's hot. i tell you what, <laughs> ow. i tell you what's happened. The drillings heat the screw up and melted the plastic on the inside of the bloody thing. So it's open. Ow. It's not open the way I expected it to open, but it's open. Stupid thing. So I, I guess I could put a bigger screw in there or put a little bit of Loctite on. Screw, lock thread, lock whatever. Right, anyways, turn that Dremel off, move this out of the way, get rid of this. Ah, look at that. I don't like these little bits of filings on the desk here, so I've got a magnet for my hard drive. And I'm going to hope that picks them all up. Just pick them all up onto that cloth. And then that can go in the bin. Right. So where am I? There's that screw in there, which is now cold. There we go. It's out. It's not very interesting, but it's out. Right, what have I got left? Um, I forgot what I was doing now, because all of these worked. The little, the rubber pad seems to be okay. So I'll clean that up and we'll hold it back together and test it again. So apparently the best way to do this is to do this wipe off the excess I wonder if these need a clean may as well do them while I'm here if this works I'm going to take it all apart and give it a good wash a little bit of IPA that's fairly clean the board itself looks in good condition I can't see anything wrong with the naked eye Number two, I forget what was wrong with it. I'm that was the the right no it's still not working. Give it a good press. Nope. Press it on the right. Nothing. Up oh, works like that, but the right is definitely kaput. Broken wire, perhaps, in here? Let's take a closer look. So the bottom comes down here. 
which is going to be a resistor R1. How exciting is this? I have got 9.9 .9 kilo ohms and on this one I have got 10 kilo ohms so the resistor is okay. Right, test that cable. Right, I'm ready to go. I'm in continuity mode. Right, that one's working. Next pin. No doubt there'll be something online about this. But where's the fun in not finding out by yourself? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right, so this one is green. The next one didn't come up. Oh, there we go. And that is yellow. Y-L-W. Next one doesn't come up. The next one is red. Last one on the top is brown. That one is white. That one is blue. That one grey. And the last one is blue. Hang on, I've got blue. The last one says blue. That one in there, this one says blue as well. So what is it? No. It is black. So I've got one not coming up and it must be orange because I haven't got orange. So it's the middle one at the top and it's coming up now. Is it a dirty connector? Or it could be a damaged cable. Or it still could be something else. We'll plug that in. Bring the television back on. Wait for Sonic to get himself ready. Which one start that one? No. Oh no. Still not working. Now it's getting interesting. Make sure I've got all my colours. Brown. Red. Green. Grey. Orange. So I'm right in what I'm doing. Because he's, he's ducking down. He's not doing anything that way so it doesn't look like it's the pad itself it looks like it's something else i'm wondering if it's a split wire if that orange one that didn't work first time if i put that on resistance i got 2.2 ohms i go to the green one is that one i got 2.1 ohms so it looks like that was okay so i'll move the wire a little bit i'll touch that orange one again and i still got 2.2 so i don't think it's that that chip cannot be faulty, surely. I need a sign. If I go into resistance mode, 20, 19 kilo ohms, 20, 20 kilo ohms. So the pad is working. So I think it's the chip. Right, quick reflow. If this resolder doesn't work, I'll have to open up one of the other ones and see if I can swap the chip to find out for sure why it's not working. I paid £15 so I'd like to get two of the co of the controllers working and I know one works so I've got a good chance. What am I doing? Talking. Uh, bring up Green Hill Zone Act 1. Power. Oh no, still not working. I'm going to hold my finger on that button and I'm going to move this cable. Keep an eye on the screen and tell us if he moves. He's not moving, is he? Surely. Surely it's not that chip. There's nothing else I can do as far as I'm aware of. Right, we'll turn this off. We'll open up the other faulty one and we might even swap chips over if we can this is the other faulty one which sounds a bit worse for wear sounds worse than the other one at least the screws i'm a screw missing someone's been in <gasps> oh someone's been in already do you know what i'm sure i've got one of these and it's missing the little the little rubber pad because i used the little rubber pad on on the control stick so I do need a little rubber pad, so one of these going for spare would not be such a bad thing. Like I say, I would like to get two, two working. 
Oh, it's a completely different one altogether. Dear me. Is it the same chip? Might be. 9320H. And this one is completely different. Perfect. Well, why wouldn't it be? Why can't they just stick? There's a pad missing. Oh, it's there. Why can't they just stick with the same? This is strange. It's got stupid. Isn't that daft? Look at that. You press down on that one. And it presses that one up. You press down on that one. Chances of repairing two of them are getting a bit slim. Why can't they stick with the same design? At least these are dirty, so I might have a a chance. Those wires look intact. Right, I've got a pad. Oh, look, a pad's torn. That could be why. It's not working very well. Another pad. That one's all right. That's okay. That's okay. That one's torn. So I've got two torn pads. Does that correspond to the fault? Let's plug it in and find out. I can't wait to find out. Right, start. Because we knew it started, didn't we? Yes. 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 So the direction, the pads are working, the circuit's working. And I've got three jumps. One, two, and three. So that's working. But I need two pads. This can go back together. See if that bends. It may not work properly. So I'll clean these pads up. The bottom of these up. I'll pinch two pads from this one. These are okay. They're the same. I'm sure they are. They look the same. Again, if I can get this proven working, I'll take it apart again and clean it up properly. Oh, now there's a broken. That's why the screw wasn't in. That might be why it's not working if it's not gripping. If it's not gripping this properly. Right, so if I hold that, switch it back on, all buttons working, uh, left, right, up, and down. So that works, but the broken stud in here might cause it some problems. I'll put it back together temporarily. That works. It's just a bit of a rubbish design. Is it a legitimate one? Model model 1650. I don't know how I can replace that missing screw post, if anyone knows. So it's a bit battered, this one, but it's working. Never came across this, this version before, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all, but it's working. Now that leaves us with a problem, because I've got this one that may or may not have a faulty chip. So that one... It's going to have to go down as a, a donor board. A donor board, there's nothing on it. There's nothing on it to be a donor board. It's a shame, you know, I kind of put that shell in there, but I can't because it's, it'll be totally different. Or can I replace the front? The front's got the screw posts. I wonder if I can use the front of this one. Oh, I'm, I've had a good idea. Is it going to work? I bet you it's not. I bet you it's totally different. Totally different. Bugger. Yep. Oh, I've got the backs mixed up. That is the old back. And that's the old front. I can't do it. I wanted to replace. See what's... Ah, look. See what's happened. There's a post missing from here. Which corresponds to here. So when that sits in there, there's nothing... There's nothing supporting that. That's why it's that's why it feels as bad as what it does, and I can't do anything about it. Can I? Can I glue something in? Will a will a glued piece really make that much of a difference? That's that's moving because it's missing a post. Can I put something in there and glue it in with some bicarb? Ooh, 
Ooh, I'll come back. I've got a big bag of screws and whatnots. And these, this is a this is a thumb screw off the back of a computer case. And it seems to be just about the right height to go in there. So if I can hold that in place and stick that in there and epoxy, I may be able to epoxy that in place. I'll stick it in with a bit of super glue to hold it in place. And I might use a little bit of epoxy or hot glue. And I think that would work. There's a lot of space. That's if the top goes on. I think it will. So we'll try that. So I can pull that off and take that off. Do you know what it is? It's a fraction too big. It just feels like it could go down a little bit more. I wonder, there's a little lip on there. I wonder if I could just take that off and get it down a fraction more. Or take a bit off the top. I wonder if I can just take a little bit of that lip off. Still feels a fraction too high. I might be able to take this top lip off. Is a Sega Mega Drive controller worth all this? Possibly not, but it's good practice. I don't know what it's good practice for. Well, this must be good practice for something. Mm, still slightly too large. Not sure what else I can take off because that screw. I take off a corner. I take out all them bits. I don't need all them bits in there rattling around putting us off. Can I shut the top? Can I close the lid with the screws too long? I'm close. I'm close. But no cigar. That's a little bit smaller. Not by much. What if I just glue that under there? This still feels a little bit too big. Not bad. I'm losing interest. It needs a post like this one that it sits on. And I can't work anything out. Right, I'm getting the screw out of there. And that's the screw that's too long. So I need a smaller screw that's going to sit in there. That one might just fit. That one, that one's just got enough to come out the top. So that might work. This is still slightly too big. I'm just going to try and trim it down a little bit more. I'll pop that screw in. That's got a little bit of a, a chamfer. That might be better off at the bottom. Yeah, I think that's it. Maybe a fraction. Still too big. But it's about as close as I'm going to get. I'm going to put that in place. I'm going to drip some super glue in. And I'm going to leave it overnight. And then tomorrow I'll build it up with more super glue and some bicarb. That's what I'll do. Let's see if I can nibble away at that. Don't think I'm going to get anything better than, than that. I've spotted a problem because that's got to sit on there. So that screw's a fraction too short. It will keep it in place. I guess with the, with the top on, it's a bit wobbly. But I'm going to have to go for it. So I'm just going to drip. That's sitting in there. I wonder if I can get that screw up a little bit more. Let's give it a shot. See if I can give it a couple of turns. That screw is a little bit too short. So there's nothing to stop us putting a little kind of cover piece on. Not that though. A little straw. A little bit of straw to make it a little bit thicker. If I was to warm something up. Heat something up and push that on top. We'd be better off doing it before I glue it. This is a little squirty bottle. And that... That part there is just the right size. It'll fit on the screw and it'll fit nicely on there. So I think I'm going to have to sacrifice one of these. Oh, I've got crumb in my fingers. Oh. There we go. So we've got the we've got the piece, the screw, the little plastic retaining thing. Just cut that off a fraction. Oh, I feel like MacGyver. So we'll drip some super glue in there. This is where I drip super glue all over my hands. So I think I'll just have to let that sit overnight. Have I got some bicarb? Got some bicarb that'll set it off quickly. It's a bit messy, but it works. Right. 
It is getting late, so I am going to still leave that to settle overnight. And we'll come back out tomorrow when I finish work. So stay tuned. Don't touch that dial, as they say. Well, that's had some time to dry. As you can see, I've swapped over to the... I've swapped over to a Mega Drive 2. So let's see if this bicarb and super glue has dried. I have the buttons all cleaned. Tip this excess bicarb out. Disable that for the time being. It's just going to come out. It's a bit stuck. I'll just go for it. Yes. Ha, it's out. So we'll brush that off. Right, let's put this back together and see if it's better than what it was. That goes in there. There we go. And then we'll have this. And that fits on there. The only problem with this, there's a broken screw post here. But there's a screw, a screw here and a screw here. So it's not, it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. There appears to be something stopping it from closing. I think this post might be a little bit too high, which has raised this section up. And it's catching on there. But that might not be a bad thing, as long as I can get a couple of screws in. The case is open here. It is a bad thing. This is just a fraction too high. I wonder if I could grind that off with me Dremel. Or, I grind that off with me Dremel. But I risk going through the back. Or I grind that off. This part's already had a repair, so I'd prefer to grind this part off half a mil if that that's if I can get me Dremel in there right let's try that still pivoting still a little bit too high I think that's it I'm only going to get it better with that screw post fixed I don't know how to do it right so it does feel better right let's press start right Green Hill Zone up one Got eight. Yep. It's really laggy because it's going through the Elgato. Yep. Forward. Yep. Back. Up. And down. He's running around all over. Buttons are working. It's a shame about that screw post, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it. But that's... is that number two? I think that's number two. So out of a possible three, I've got two working. The third one, which is here, I think it's got a faulty chip. I haven't given up on it yet. Right. Green Hills, here we go. Up. Yep. And it's this one. Oh, hold on. That's worked. That's worked. Now this definitely was not working previously. Why is it working now? And it wasn't working previously. I don't like these intermittent faults. Put it back together and we'll see if it's working correctly. Right, so he runs that way. And he runs that way now. So that's working now. I don't like that. Because I don't know if it is still faulty. Could it be the strain relief? So that's three out of three working. Well, this one needs a couple of pads. I'm pretty sure when I tested this previously, it wasn't working. So I don't know what the fault is. Can I see anything wrong with the cable? So I just need two, two pads for here. Seems to be a common fault with them, so I'll order half a dozen, I think. So that's three controllers. I've cleaned all the cables, I've tested them again, and they're all working. But this one needs two button pads for B and C here. And this one wasn't working correctly at the beginning of the video. The only thing I've done, I've changed consoles. I was using the original Mega Drive when I first started testing these. 
So I'm going to have to test this one on the original Mega Drive and see if the fault returns. If, if the fault does return, I think it's just wear and tear on this connector. Matching up with some wear and tear on the original Mega Drive console. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put this one away and I'll get the original one back out. I'm just wondering why it's not coming on and I haven't put the game in. We're back on Ghetto Cam. Recording the TV screen. I know that's terrible, but right, before I test that, this turned up. This is a Game Boy for me next video. I saw it on eBay and it was in such a poor condition, I just had to buy it. See if I could fix it up and save it. I felt a bit sorry for it. Right, start. Okay, so start and start again. Green Hills, right. Ah, oh, left's working here. Why was it not working? This is a different controller. I've picked the wrong controller up. Hang on. Right, sorry about that. This is the controller I should be testing on this. Again, it's not working. It's got to be. Oh, look. If I just lift up this controller, a fraction, it works. So it's wear and tear, either wear and tear on here or wear and tear on here. Don't think there's anything I can do about it. So I think it's just wear and tear on here, coupled with wear and tear on the, on the port. I'll give it another turn. Right, we'll try that. No. If I lift that up a fraction, it does work. You've got to, I think you've got to make sure. It says non-conductive, but I don't trust it. No. Still needs to be just lifted up a fraction. Right, look. Left is orange, which I thought I had a problem with earlier. And that's pin three which is the middle pin at the top. So that's the one I'll concentrate on. Middle pin at the top. Let's see if we can get this cleaned out a little bit more. The middle pin there, so this is the one we're looking at, and it just looks a bit a bit damaged. So what do I do if it, it doesn't work on this one very well, but it does work on the other one. So it's wear and tear on here, and wear and tear on here. I don't really want to replace the whole cable, but I don't want to pass it on to someone else if it's not working. Unless I sell it, I could bundle this controller with with the other console, couldn't I? And then I don't have to worry about it not working. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll have to bundle it with the other console. So tell me what you think. Shall I replace the pads on here? And then sell it with the console? Or shall I keep it as a test pad? I was going to keep the other one as a test pad. So there you go. We'll bundle this one with the other console. The Mega Drive 2. Right. I'm having a bit of a change of heart. I found this one. A control stick. And I've previously swapped the cable out. On this one and put a new cable on. You can tell it's not original. Because it doesn't have the Sega logo on. And what I've done in the past is. I've bought an extension cable. And cut the end off and use that. But that cost us £5. Um, and I don't think it was worth it. So. So. What I did. I went to AliExpress. And I bought five. For the total price of £10.15. And they've turned up. And here they are. So I've got five of these. And it's got the strain relief on the end. I'm assuming these wires are... All correct. I've got two missing pads to replace. I've also got a working one here with a missing pad. So I need three pads. So what I think I'll do, this one's the one with the, the worn connector. So I'll put a new cable on this one. This one's got the uh, the repair inside and it's a bit more scuffed. So I'll, I'll use this one. I'll take the three pads out of here and I'll put them in there to make this a, a better one. And I'll get that one working again with a, a pad underneath there. And this will be for, for spares or until I can get some more pads. So that's what I'll do to finish that off. And then I'll end up with a working one 
three good working ones and a spare. So we'll open this one back up. So we need the pads and we need to replace this cable. That's got to be the right way around, doesn't it? I'll make a quick note. White and blue. So that's all those cleared out. And we'll put the new one on. These cables are a lot thinner. Let's push green through a little bit more. There you go. Green. I should have red and brown left. Red and brown. So with the new cable, we need some pads. So I'll open up this one, which I think is the one with the funny D-pad that I had to repair. Yes, it is. That's what I've replaced. But I'd prefer to use them pads on the other ones. I'll take them three pads out of there. We'll pop this one back together. Of course, if I decided to do that, I could have just used this cable and saved myself ordering from AliExpress. Whilst I was trying to work out which one I'd been working on, I noticed that I had two separate styles of connector. These ones are much, much chunkier. I should have enough pads to put this back together. I don't like this. This I'm sure this was further down on the original. I'm sure the original one was shaped like that, so this is in the wrong place, really. There's not a lot I can do about it at the moment. Can't do anything about it now. That is a shame. I'm sure it'll be okay. Right, so that one should work now. And the one I had from a previous buy, I'll open this one up. I'm gonna pop that extra pad in. Yeah, it does. See, that's molded. It's a shame I kind of push this moulded piece further down, but I can't. Ideally, it'll go, it would be like that. Oh, well, beggars can't be choosers. So I'll pop that in there. And that brings that one back to full working condition. Okay, so that's the old pad. So we've got three three pads. We need to test this one because that one has got the new cable on. I bought some new AV out cables. I should be able to capture that instead of having to point the camera at the telly. I've got audio and I've got my little Sonic but watch what happens when I plug in the gamepad with the new cable. Sonic goes crackers. So what's happening there? I do not know. Let's open it up and find out. We'll switch off and get rid of that. I'll quickly open this up and see what I've done wrong. I'm hoping I've just got some kind of solder bridge. Well, they look okay to me. Well, they've got these colours the right way around. Are they connected to here? the right way around. They should be because they were bought for the Sega controller. If they were wired up the wrong way around, Sonic still wouldn't be, he wouldn't be crouching would he? We'll plug it back in but leave it out so we'll know that there's no buttons being pressed. Switch this back on. No. Look. What's he doing? So it's got nothing to do with these pads. There's something amiss with this cable. I'll get rid of that and I'll check for shorts. I find it hard to believe there's a there's a short. I don't think there's a short on there. 
surely they can't mess a cable up. So that is brown. So that is B R W. So that's how this is labelled up. I've opened up what appears to be the same controller. I'll test this one. Do the same. The top one should be brown and it's not. Hang on. They've got the wires mixed up. I could have saved myself some trouble by checking first. I've assumed wrongly. There you go, look. It says 9 pin 1.5 meter extension cable for Sega Genesis 2 for Mega Drive 2 controller gamepad. It looks like the colours aren't connected to the correct pad. Top corner is that one, green. How am I gonna work? Hang on, how am I gonna work this out? Because green, <laughs> green's the top corner. So on mine, it should be brown. No, that's not right, man. I've got brown going to the top corner. Um, this is, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll label them up one to nine. The top corner, which is this one, should come to pin, pin three. So on my copy, pin, that should be brown, because I've got brown at the top corner. This one, orange. Now this is orange on mine. So that should be one, two, three, four, five, number six. So that should be orange. What colour am I missing? Green, number nine. This should be the end one. And it is. And that's green. G R E E N. Green. Right, fantastic. I'm flabbergasted that they can't get the colours correct. It's bizarre. So, the end one should be green. Right, second time lucky. Now, if long, as long as Sonic does nothing, in fact, it shouldn't go to it, it should just play the demo, shouldn't it? Right, so that's just playing the demo, and I should use a pad. I can press start. Right, start. Perfect. Right, switch that off. Get these controllers back together and do a test. That's a nice and solid. That's not going to come out. That screw. I'm sure that's the screw that I've had to drill out. It's tightened up pretty good. So, got left, right. There we go. So that's working spot on. Spotty, spotty dog. I bought three controllers for £15, I think. I've used one for the pads. So I've gotten three working controllers and that one's that one's spare. Bit of a plain video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a lesson. Always double check the colours of your cables when you're buying from AliExpress. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.